Welcome back everyone. I hope you're having a good day today. We're going to be in Life of Fred Katz. If you have a Katz book, go ahead and get your book out now. Remember, you can press pause at any time during this video. Today, we're going to be on page 97, chapter 15, and the title is To the Dictionary. Fred thought about taking his geometry class out for a little jog around the great lawn today. Then they could have a little drink at the water fountain. It would be the perfect way to teach them about length, area, and volume. He thought that area would be the hardest of the three concepts to teach. Everyone knew how far they ran, length, and everyone knew what a pint of ice cream was, volume. When he got back to his office from his morning jog, Fred told Kingy that he could come out of his fort now. The kitty was gone. Kingy came out. He asked Fred to carry and hug him for a while. He did not like the idea of having to live in his fort for the rest of his life. Fred picked Kingy up and gave him a big hug. Together they pulled Fred's big dictionary off the shelf and took it to the desk. Fred set Kingy on his desk. He got three phone books and put them on his chair. When Fred sat on the three phone books, he was tall enough to work at his desk. Fred wanted to look up the word area in his dictionary. That might help him explain that idea to his geometry class. He read, area, an extent of space. That did not help at all. Fred was about to shut the dictionary when Kingy shouted, look at the word right above area, air, 100 square meters. Weird, Fred exclaimed. Air is a measure of area. I bet that very few of my students know that. Fred was air ever on the search for homonyms and air. Fred could close the dictionary, he said, unless I air. I think I'm air to a new world's record in homonyms. He took a big gulp of air. Six, air, 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 and air. Fred told Kingy, I can use an air, which is a hundred square meters, to talk about the metric system in my classes. I am one yard tall. That's 36 inches. When I talk about square yards in my classroom, it's easy. I just lie down on the floor and have the students draw a square. But Fred couldn't figure out how to show a square meter in his classroom. A meter is about 39 inches and Fred is only 36 inches. At the rate that Fred has been growing, it may take years for him to be a meter tall. Kingy had a suggestion. Why don't you just let me sit on top of your head? You are 36 inches and I am six inches. That won't work, said Fred. 36 plus six equals 42. I need to be 39 inches tall in order to be a meter tall. 36, Fred's height, plus three equals 39, one meter. Fred needed to add three inches to his height. Kingy had all kinds of suggestions, but Fred didn't like any of them. Fred's idea wasn't much better. Wear a three inch pizza. Kingy had a different thought. Why do you want to teach about the metric system? What good is a meter? Some people think that the metric system is easier, Fred explained. Ha! shouted Kingy. Nothing could be easier than yards. One yard equals three feet. One foot equals 12 inches. One mile equals 5,280 feet. That's easy. Fred smiled. In the metric system, one meter equals 100 centimeters. 
one kilometer equals 1,000 meters. Okay, are you ready for your turn to play? Go ahead and grab a piece of paper and a pencil. Remember, you can press pause at any time. Let's begin. Number one. It is easy to see that if one kilometer equals 1,000 meters, then two kilometers equals 2,000 meters, three kilometers equals 3,000 meters, and eight kilometers equals 8,000 meters. We know that one mile equals 5,280 feet. Question, would you like to figure out how many feet are in eight miles? Yes or no. Number two. Area can be measured in square inches, square feet, square yards, or square miles. One square mile equals 20,878,400 square feet. One square kilometer equals 1 million square meters. Seven square kilometers is 7 million square meters. Would you like to figure out how many square feet are in seven square meters? Yes or no? Okay, here are your answers. Go ahead and check your work. Now, are you ready for today's homeschooling meme? Here you go. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that one. Join me here tomorrow for chapter 16. Bye for now.